Hello everyone and welcome to the Art of Teaching Art. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a daisy. Now I've got a selection of photos here. I am going to be drawing this one which is a face on picture. This daisy was actually pink but I've edited the photo to black and white just so it's easier to draw in pencil. You can see that this has a lot more tone than the white ones here but it's up to you what you choose to draw. This kind of thing is a little bit more tricky, it's slightly at an angle and the petals are slightly more folded so really consider that when you're picking your image to draw. Okay so when we're approaching this drawing we need to think about kind of dividing it into sections so we're almost thinking about dividing it in half and then half again so into quarters and that's going to help you keep the structure with your petals because you want to try and draw all of the petals it might even be that you kind of count the petals and make sure you get them all in there not every petal is the same shape and that's the mistake often people make when drawing this type of flower so they draw all the petals the same and actually you've got some that are overlapping some that probably are slightly longer and all of these stripes are different so it's really important that you add in that detail the same with the center of the flower again you want to be able to add in that detail. So again I'm using a selection of pencils, I've got 2B and 4B pencils and my mechanical pencil ready, I'm going to start off in my HB pencil. So starting with the centre of the flower which is a circle, using lightly sketched lines first of all and then we're thinking about the petals. So what I will do is draw the kind of top petal that I can see. Now it's quite tricky on this one because you, this one's underneath others but you kind of draw the top petal that you can see at say the 12 o'clock mark and then the bottom petal you can see at the 6 o'clock mark. Then I'll draw the one on this side at the 3 o'clock mark and then this one on this side at the 9 o'clock mark and that's going to help me get all of these petals in. I'm going to go for this petal first so this is slightly off center. Now, when we're thinking about the length of the petals, they are all approximately the same length. Now, the only thing we've drawn so far is the center of the flower. So we're gonna use the center of the flower as a measurement to help us see the proportion of the petals compared to it. So if I measure that, we've got two centers, okay? So here's my center of my flower. One, two, so the top of the petal kind of needs to come here. If you wanted to, to make it easier, you could do a sketched line that distance away round the whole of the centre of your flower as that would help you keep it proportionally right the whole time. Okay, so starting with the first petal slightly off centre it comes up curved and then curves around to the end and then we're thinking about the width of the flower so it's about half of the center of the flower so kind of like this coming down then this one has another petal that kind of goes next to it so I'm going to leave that like that for now but I am going to draw in the stripes that I can see on the petal first of all and then I'm going to draw the one directly opposite so this one so I know that it's opposite so it comes out here this one is actually quite a wide petal this is a lot wider so its widest point is nearly two-thirds of the center so I'm going to measure that so it curves round a little bit more to a point Let's just check that. So a little bit too big. So I'm going to bring it smaller in the middle. Okay, so that's that petal directly opposite. Then we want to go for one on kind of this side. So let's go for kind of this petal here. So it's coming out from this side, curving round. and then back around like this. And then we can draw the lines in on that one. 
and that's just going to help me when I'm shading it later on. And then I'm going to draw the petal which is directly opposite it, which is this one here. And there's actually only two petals in between this one and this one, so that's going to help you start to get a bit of proportion in terms of the structure of the flower. And then I simply work around filling in the petal. So I'll start with this because that's only two petals. So starting with this petal here, now looking at this space, this one overlaps this one slightly and then clo almost closes the gap here. So it takes up quite a lot of room. And then this petal is hidden partially behind it. There's a larger gap between this petal. This one comes up a little bit longer and thinner and hides behind that one, that line comes straight up here. So I'm just going to work my way round filling in the rest of the petals, paying attention to detail. I'll come back to you when I'm ready to add the detail to the centre. Okay, so I've drawn in all of my petals and I'm now going to add the detail to the centre. Now when you're looking at the centre of the flower, you can see there's little kind of white bits around it. The rest look like kind of little circles, little stars all joined together. So I'm actually going to draw little circles on this. So I'm just going to work carefully with my pencil and I'm not copying these directly. But it's going to start to bring some texture and we'll shade them later. just making sure it doesn't look too circular in the center there by just going over the line that I sketched originally with the circles to just give it that kind of natural feel. So the next step is to clean up the drawing a little bit so I'm going to remove this circle line that I drew first of all and any additional lines that I've drawn and then I'll be ready for shading. So I've rubbed out the additional lines and now I'm ready to start shading. So like with any other drawing, I'm going to go in with the darkest areas first. So I'm just going to start with the centre part. Now with this, you've got a few parts that are left white, but the rest is shaded in. It's just got a few dots of light at the top. So for each one of these segments, you want to kind of shade dark around the outside and then lightly in the middle for each one and that's going to help with the realistic side of the drawing. So we've got the centre of the flower now done, so I've shaded around each piece and then gone in with some darker tones as well. Now I'm going to go through and add some other darker areas, so where we've got overlaps of petals like this area here, I'm going to add that darker, the overlap here and any little bits between the petals that I can see as well as a little bit of shadow you can see it's darker here and then comes out lighter so I'm going to add that in and then I can go through and shade all of the individual petals so I'm just using my pencil softly in the direction of the petals so I'm trying to go in this direction to help them look the right shape I'm pressing a little bit harder to get the darker tone and then lighter coming outwards to get that blend.
So there's the dark areas added in. I'm then going to work petal at a time to add in the shading and I'm going to work between my B pencil that I've got here and then the 2B or you could use your HB. So when we're doing this we're thinking about each petal, the dark and light areas, making sure these lines are going in the right direction. You can see that they tend to be darker towards this point here, lighter coming outwards. And these areas that are white, we want to make sure that they are lighter, but in some part of the petals here, they're darker than on this side. So we're trying to just copy that in our drawing as well. different pencils to build up the layers, drawn a petal at the time, gone darker towards the middle and I've just finished it off with the mechanical pencil just adding that final detail to neaten edges. What you may want to do is uh, add a darker background, obviously on this picture it's a darker background which makes the flower stand out more but I'm happy with it like this. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great day!